Hi everyone, my name is Meg and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to do a kids clothing haul. There was a consignment sale this morning in our town and so I went and I got a whole bunch of stuff and I'm super excited. I got some stuff for my daughter who is right now almost 11 months old. So we got her a whole bunch of stuff for a bunch of next sizes up and then if you guys have watched my last pregnancy update you'll know that we are having a boy. I am 22-ish weeks pregnant with a little boy. And so I have some clothes for him, mostly up to six months, and then I needed some for after that. I also found some cloth diapers, and I got Sophia some shoes, and she's probably going to start walking soon, so I got her some shoes for the next size up. And so I'm super excited to share this haul with you guys, and let's get right into it. So I'm going to start with the shoes. First up are these size 7 brown boots, aren't these the cutest things? And these could be for boys or girls. And these were only $6. So I was super excited to find those. They have a little bit of wear, but our kids are gonna put a lot of wear on them, so I was not concerned about a little wear. I also got these size six little boots for her. I figured these would be great for either church or even if it's cold, if I need to put her in something a little bit warmer than sandals. And then these were $3.50, just some little brown dress shoes size six and then these were four dollars size six as well and these are just like so soft inside and they feel so like squishy and comfortable so I figured these that these will probably be her main just going around town shoes when she's walking and then these are four dollars these are size five I figured I would get a lower size than six just in case she needs it for a little while so these are super cute flowers with yellow lace so that's all for shoes. I wasn't sure exactly what I would need because she's not walking yet and I've never put her in shoes and I've, I, I don't know, I've never bought shoes for kids so I just kind of got some stuff that I thought was cute and that I figured she would need so hopefully it's the right thing. Now let's go ahead and do the cloth diapers next because there's not a ton of them and there's a lot of clothes so let's just do the diapers next. So I got a bunch of Alba Baby pocket diapers. I love pocket diapers, they are my favorite, and Alba Baby is one of my favorite brands, so I was super excited to find all of these, and these were only $2.50 each. And for cloth diapers, that is so cheap, and they look like brand new. They're completely white, they look like they have never been used. They came with liners. I think, I'm pretty sure these are just microfiber Alba, Alba Baby brand, probably just the ones that came with the diapers when they were bought originally. But it's hard to find used cloth diapers for less than five dollars and if these were new they would probably be around eight dollars each so two fifty is amazing so that was a bumblebee one and then i have feathers hedgehogs that's just so cute just a plain gray one mustard yellow we actually have one of these exact same brand exact same color and i love it and this is one of my favorite colors so i figured i might as well get another one and then we got one with elephants and designs and stuff. And then I found some swim diapers and these are all-in-one baby goal brand swim diapers. And I was super excited to find these because I've actually been wanting to find some swim diapers for Sophia if we wanted to, we were actually thinking about going to the hot springs and so I would want to have a swim diaper for her. And so these were only $3 each. Here's the other one. I got two of them. I figured two would be plenty for swim diapers. I mean, we don't go swimming all that often. But this was super exciting because I've been looking on Amazon at swim diapers and they're like $15 each. So $3 is amazing. And they look brand new. And they'll fit her for the entire time she's in diapers because they're all in one size. Now that's all for the diapers and let's get into the clothes. So I'm just gonna show you the boys' clothes first and then the girls' clothes. And it's not gonna be in any particular order of size, just whatever I get to next, I will show you. <laughs> but I will separate it from boys and girls because I think if I did it all at once, that would be a little bit confusing. So here's just a striped jacket, six to nine months. I figured it'd be nice to just have a lighter jacket for him to be in around the house if it's a little chilly. Here's a 12 month size outfit. These came together. Looks like kind of a thermally shirt material and some nice fleecy pants. This looks super comfortable. Then a 12 month striped boys shirt and six to nine month plaid dressy shirt, six to nine month shark shirt. Isn't that cute? Then I got a set of five footed pajamas for $8. Footed pajamas are my favorite. And there's a bunch of different kinds in here. There's one that's striped, it's got a zip, which I really like, zipper and then a fleecy one, another cotton zip one, 
rhinoceros button up. And these two ones in the back don't seem as high quality. You have to button all the way around here, which I'm not thrilled about, but these will still come in handy. Polka dots. When my babies are six months and younger especially, they practically live in footed sleepers, so I was really excited to find that big set of them for so cheap. Six to nine month outfit. A little striped shirt with overalls. I thought that was the cutest thing. And then a little shirt and pant set. Six to nine months. These look like just really comfy pants. And this is like a thermal type long sleeve shirt material. And then I got a 12 to 18 month size pants because he will wear that size eventually and they looked really comfy on the inside. They've got this cotton material inside and they feel like a little stretchy. So these looked really comfortable and they could be used for boys or girls. So I might even put Sophia in these <laughs> before he wears them. Little six to nine month onesie. I love these buttons in the front. They just look really cute. And this feels like really high quality and thick. So this will last a long time. And then some adorable little striped 12 month size pants. Oh, and I love this one. It's got raccoons and it's a little fleecy footed pajama set. Three to six months. And then here's another outfit set camo onesie and some brown pants, six to nine months. I'm really excited about this. This is kind of a thermally material again. This one is a set of three, it's a six to nine month size. It has overalls and a onesie. The onesie says, Daddy's Sidekick. It's super cute, but I love these striped coveralls. And then it came with this little orange hoodie. Oh, and then this is the cutest thing. Look at this tiny little onesie that is so cute and it has little shorts. This is three to six months. It has a little turtle. So cute. Here's a 12 month size green fleece. Just a nice comfy around the house or going out sweater. And then the last thing for little boys are these cute little pants. Little green pants. They look really comfy. Six to 12 months. So that is it for boys. I'm pretty sure he's set until he's around a year old. And a lot of those, a little girl could wear even. So I'm really excited about that. It was definitely worth it. And now let's move on to girl clothes. So here's a 24 month size shirt. It was funny because I found the same shirt like early on in my shopping. And then like near the end, I found this shirt and it was $2 of a difference in price. So this one was 150, the other one was like 350. So I was like, they're exactly the same. I was like looking, I'm like, what is the difference in these? So. Of course, I went with the cheaper one. And then here's a little outfit set. It's got heart on the shirt, it's actually a pocket. And the pants have hearts. 24 months seemed a little expensive, but I really like just kind of neutral colored outfits like that. 24 month size jeans, just really basic. Jeans go with everything, I love them. And here's another pair of jeans. I'm pretty sure they're like pretty much exactly the same as the other ones, except they're just an extra 50 cents. So here's a little 18 to 24 month sweater. She has a sweater that goes up to 18 months. That's just kind of a lounge around the house and or a little bit nicer sweater that she can wear to church. So this will be the next size up. So I was really excited to find that. Here's an 18 month size watermelon tank top. This is so cute. Here's a little je jean dress, just a long denim shirt. This is 18 to 24 months. And then I got her a whole bunch of footed pajamas because she goes through so many footed pajamas. They would last more than one day, except that she ends up crawling around the house before I can get her changed, and then they get covered in stuff because we are living in the middle of the construction zone, so she goes through a lot of pajamas. So she needed a bunch more for the next sizes up. I actually got one 2T, because this was in really good condition. It'll have to be stored for a while, but you know, I have storage boxes up there with 2T size anyway, so it's so big. I can't believe she's gonna be that long someday. It's crazy. Like, I cannot find any fleecy footed pajamas at our local thrift stores for that cheap. They're usually like five to eight dollars or even ten dollars. Here's a 24 month size one. Got a reindeer on it. This one's 150. It's also 24 month size though. It's got like zebra stripes on it. Very cute. This one actually feels the newest out of all of them. And then here's another 24 month size. It's got stripes on the body and then polka dots on the arms, which I thought was super cute. It's got two owls. Very cute. I got these little 18 to 24 month pants. They're really soft, so they're going to be stretchy and easier for her to wear around the house with little cinched up 
legs. Here's an 18 month size jean shirt, some little jeggings with ruffles on the butt. These are 18 month size. She practically lives in these kind of pants. I absolutely love these. They look so comfortable and they're stretchy. They don't constrict her while she tries to climb around on things and crawl everywhere. So those are my favorite. I got a little 18 month size pink shirt. Oh, I guess I missed one boy thing. Here's some pants. 12 month size pants. Someone woke up from her nap before I could finish. I was almost done. So I was saying just some really comfy sweatpants for a little boy. And then this one last thing is actually a set. It's got this teal long sleeve shirt and some black jeans. 24 month size. The shirt has some butterflies on it. Really cute. Thing for everything, this entire haul, the clothes, the shoes, the diapers, I paid around $130, which I was like a little bit freaked out about paying that much, but then I was like, you know what, if I bought all this stuff new, which if I don't buy it here, I'm gonna have to buy it somewhere else, so this is the cheapest place I can possibly buy it, and I'm gonna use all of it. I would have paid like probably over $500 for all that stuff. Like, it's some really nice, high quality stuff, so. Yes! yes. <laughs> You're so happy. Oh, <laughs> So yeah, definitely worth it, and we're not gonna have to buy clothes for a while now, and it was so fun shopping for boys and girls stuff, and we're planning on having a lot more kids, so when they grow out of these, I'm gonna put them in my storage box upstairs. I actually just went through and sorted out all of the kids' clothes and put it in different size storage bins, and so as, they, as she grows out of clothes and he grows out of clothes, I'll have some up there for them to wear and I'll put their old ones up there too. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!